Hey everyone, welcome back. And if it's your first time, welcome. It is two days after my last convention and I already have another one in the same week, but it's in Michigan. I live in Florida. It's a long drive. So I'm actually all packed up, giving a little intro before I head out. It's gonna be a long, long drive. I'm stopping midway at a friend's house, uh, then driving the rest of the way the next day. So yeah, having conventions back to back like this, especially one being super far away, is a little bit of a toss up. I I, uh, I had a lot of printing to do yesterday and a lot of inventory stocking and all that. Um, I got what I got done. Can't get any more done, so I gotta head out. It's a uh, Motor City, Motor City Comic Con to be exact. Uh, it's in Michigan, like I said. It's this weekend, November. 10th, 11th, and 12th. So I'm excited for it. First time going that far out for a convention to help my art business. So yeah, I'll show you guys more later. Okay, it's Thursday morning. I'm here in Michigan, at my friend's house, ready to go. The wind is blowing, so I'm gonna go set up. Wow, an hour and a half drive. I'll show you guys stuff later if you can hear me. So I'm here. This is the back of the building. I'm gonna start unloading. So yeah, I'll show you how you guys look. At I'll show. I will show you guys how it looks on the inside in a minute. So I'm still doing this. I'm using my friend's table next to me. So it's looking a little messy back here. Doing the best I can with the space. This is a space back here, which is not too bad actually. I'm not gonna put my print drop. Like I have like a print wall I, put, I used to put behind here, but I don't know if I'm gonna do it. This is everything behind me. It's actually pretty big of a con. I didn't realize how big it was. So I'm almost done. I mean, it looks like I'm done. There's just some small things I have to do. I fill the baskets that are up in the front right here. Um, gotta put some stuff up on that grid. Put the tablet up. Something like that, I'm almost there. It's late on Thursday. So, so far so good, everyone's been nice. Uh, this, this person is lovely. Their work is amazing. I'll show you more tomorrow, later. He's been nice too, but not everyone showed up yet. So we're still setting up. I'm putting up some of my prints here. Scott's gonna go somewhere else though. Rebecca's trying to do her setup next to me. Yeah, we have like an hour and a half or maybe an hour left, so we're getting there. So in my efforts to be a good Samaritan, I was holding the door for someone and I guess there was some residue on the track, on the door and it got on my pants. And I tried to clean them 
and they won't come out. Apparently they're bleach. So these pants are ruined now. I'm very, very, very disappointed. So I haven't hidden the ducks yet. I'm figuring out where I want them to go. So um, give me a minute. Okay, so I decided where I'm putting the ducks. One is on top of Lum. The other one is on top of Batman, which is not too bad. So one, two. So guys, I um, I left my glasses in the hotel and it's not enough time to go back and get it. So I'm stuck on my boring black and slightly red which no one ever notices the red, but you know, I'm stuck without them today. I feel like my brand is let down now. I'm disappointed in myself. But I have my one piece lanyard and I have Zorro on it. So this is what the badge looks like. It's pretty cool, it's simple. Um, you could, I guess I could do more, but it does its job. It looks cool. <laughs> I have more head movement than I thought you were going to be. I thought you were going to be like, you were like. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Yuji and Subaru. I'm behind by a few episodes for season two. Yeah. And everyone just keeps going off online about how great it is. And I'm like, alright, I need to catch up. Okay. I think I'm like, I think I'm three behind, if I remember correctly. Okay. Like, the last thing happened was Yuji and, Ito, I mean, same person. Yeah. Itadori and Megumi beat the one guy that, um, okay. they, they couldn't try to figure out his power or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I watched that one, which was really good. I was like, it was like, how is this side type character going to be worth anything? And it was actually yeah. interesting. It's so cool. But uh, it's $5 for that. I a sleeve for you. How are you doing today? Doing good. I don't want to get those Rogers. I'm so happy to hear. I love my Rogers stickers. I was very proud of them. Oh, um, you want an H? Yeah, all four. Right. I'm a huge American Dad fan, especially Rogers. Same. I was going to college, too. He actually moved to Japan after college. But his voice sounded just like Rogers. And he had the same like lack of touch in reality. Really? <laughs> so when he was gone, I watched Mecha Dad. It's like, it reminds me of... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, now I wish I wish I had a friend that was like that because I love Roger. Like I try to do his his like voice. And I used to be able to do it when I was younger. I can't do it now. And everyone was like, "You're trying too hard, man. Fine, let me alone. Let me like enjoy my life." But I love Roger so much. Like I, when I came with the stickers, I didn't think I was like, "I wonder, hopefully they do well." Like you know, but no, it's so far. Uh, I could put it in a sleeve if you want. Uh, sure. Yeah, you put them all like the same one. Yeah. Which I just had them. Oh, they're right in front of me. Oh, you're doing taxidermy. Okay. Well, now I'm just sewing it up, so I'm not just. So Rebecca is sewing up her plushie, but she looked at me earlier with a creepy face, and it really looked like she was doing some taxidermy stuff. Because apparently this looks like a dead animal. I don't know what it was, but it, she was putting the stuffing in there, and you know I don't have a shot of that right now, so I can't show it to you. But later I'll, I'll show you, and it looks maniacal and scary. And so she she hand sews all these, okay? So when people would say to her. Oh, I don't know, it's too expensive. Understand she makes it herself. <laughs> so these are my booth neighbors, Jake and Kaylee. Okay, they're next to me. Look at his awesome art he drew. Uh, Rob, you know, a bad time. <laughs> but also we have one straight to the point. So that's straight to the point. I can't zoom in, dang it. Can you see it? Let's see if you can see it. That's great, that's awesome. <laughs> Sticker. But yeah, they've been lovely. I'm happy I have nice booth neighbors. So we're walking out. We're done for Friday, okay? Um, we're starving. I meant the potty before we left and I didn't. Now I really gotta go. But you know, hotel's not too far away. So, yay, pee break. Come to your stomach pills. Oh yeah, I got eat stomach pills. We're getting, you know, pasta and, and dairy related things. So I'm gonna need to take, you know, something for that.
it's day two and I'm taking everything down, getting ready to open back up. Yeah, Saturday morning. It's day two, Saturday from a three-day con, Motor City. Yeah, um, that's what you're watching this video for. But yeah, so I'm excited. I still have my paintings. No one's noticed the ducks yet. There's one. There's one somewhere. There it is. Then I still have my other duck. Somewhere I put it? Up there. So I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, let's get this going. So I made some more of my Ivan Patch, like Ivan Kirby stickers for anyone who buys stuff. So I don't know if you guys remember from my Greenville vlog, the Captain Kirby joke that we had in there. But yeah, so I've been giving them out. People have been pretty excited about them be honest so for this show specifically i made sure to have my winnie the pooh packs because i never made these yet so i made these packs pooh bear tigger piglet so i have these and then i made some uh world trigger as well so yuma chica Osamu. Another person that found the ducks. Well, actually, the only person that found the ducks so far. So you can point out which one first one. No. Point which one out. We got the one on the Batman. That's one. No, and the one up top thing. Too. So someone finally found it, and she watches my videos, so I was very excited. So, yeah. So it's the middle of the day. Um, sales have been decent. It's been really busy, but sales have only been decent. But um, my most popular print seems to be my Scott Pilgrim one. I only have one left, so I shouldn't say it seems to be the most popular. It is. So one left, middle of the day, good traffic. Um, just sales are okay so far. So the service is down, my phone isn't working, and my iPad and Square Reader are messing up. People are texting me and I'm trying to confirm stuff, can't do it, they're not gonna sent out. A lot of sales have been lost, but luckily Rebecca has been helping me, letting me use her Square Reader occasionally. But um, yeah, it's kind of messing up the day. Okay, it's the end of the day, we're starving. Rebecca's just gonna snack. She's like, I'm not waiting for dinner. Veggie straws. Um, I snacked already. I don't want to snack anymore. I want dinner. Dinner. Getting We're getting pasta. I'm gonna treat myself. <laughs> Pasta's treating yourself? So there's my booth neighbors, okay? Follow her work, okay? It's gonna be right down here. My finger won't, my finger's in the way, but it's right here. So yeah, they've been lovely. <laughs> so yeah, day three, last day. Last day. Right, Rebecca? Last day, it's the last day, day three. It's gonna be good. The show started and I had to run back to my car to get my charger because I completely forgot about it. So Bungo Stray Dogs seems to be really popular this weekend. So my Chuya print is gonna be uh, front and center. You know, I have Dazai, Chuya, and Atsushi, but yeah. I just realized everyone's been looking for Bungo stuff. So if you haven't jumped on Bungo art, any artists out there, you should. I like your hoodie. Cool. I don't see much Death Note merch anymore. Okay, that was like when I used to wear all my Death Note stuff. When I was like in college wearing my Death Note stuff. Everyone like, what is that? I'm like, it's Death Note, check it out. You know? That was back then. Yeah, back then anime was not popular. So, it was very annoying. So those are actually hers. But I, uh, Rebecca, how much are the totes? 20. And I'm sort of in the way. 
Oh yeah, no, you're perfectly fine. That is, that's some good ass art. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Is that a berserk jacket? Yes, it is. Yeah, is that looks so. Oh, that looks so good. Love it. Okay, Rebecca's gonna sing uh, Orgarina, the Orgarina sing melody. Song that one I'm singing. The Orgarina time melody. Do, do, do. <laughs> it's the end of the day on Sunday. We're packing up. Um, <laughs> so it's been about 13 days after uh, Motor City in Michigan. Long time, I know, um, but I had a convention immediately after I got back, so I had no time to record or do this part. So it gave me time to sit on how the experience was in Michigan at Motor City. So I'm not too upset about it. I'd say the show was pretty good. It, it wasn't bad. It wasn't phenomenal for me. Considering the drive from Florida to Michigan, I wanted it to be a little better than it was, but it wasn't bad. There were some really great moments. If you're someone like me who loves scenery, I did love the scenic route, the, the, the beautiful mountains, the fall weather. It was gorgeous going up there. Got to see the Smoky Mountains. I got to see a lot of great things. It was just really beautiful. I will put that in the plus column. So I did enjoy the drive. On the way back, not so much. I was kind of burnt out, tired. Once I got to Georgia, I was kind of over the drive. But the con itself was good. You know, I had I had really nice booth neighbors next to me. Um, it was her first con. I shared uh, her art, her booth earlier. Uh, she was super lovely. Her boyfriend was super lovely. My One of my good uh, convention friends was next to me on my left side. Uh, so we were able to hang the whole time. We also stayed together at the hotel. If I was by myself, I would have been, I mean, not bored. It was, it was good stuff going on, but I would have just been alone. And being alone in a new place kind of sucks. But yeah, because we were able to do this experience together, it made it much better. I will say going to the convention when you have to set up and everything, everything was very easy, very straightforward. There was no confusion. There was nothing to prevent you from setting up properly. Um, I've been to other cons where it's been kind of hard to set up on the day and either they don't know you're in, they can't find you, uh, or they're just kind of all over the place. They weren't that way over here at Motor City. So it went really well in that aspect. I do think that Friday was kind of a busy day for a Friday. The numbers were actually pretty good. I was kind of surprised. That's not to say that the sales were like phenomenal or anything. They were good, they were pretty decent, especially for Friday. Saturday, I feel like there was a decline. I don't know if it's because they were going to visit all the guests that were there or whatnot. And I know our aisle was kind of in the back, like at the end. So, I mean, there was decent foot traffic. I do think that the location was a little iffy, but then again, I could be wrong. The traffic was flowing through and out, so. But Sunday, the sales were better at, than Saturday, which is weird for a lot of people, but that's my normal. It's only that recently, the Sundays have been getting kind of stale. But this time, that wasn't the case. I did notice there were a lot of people not trying to buy on any of the days, which, I mean, I understand it's their money and they can't spend what they don't have. But for artists and vendors, we're there to show our work and, you know, make a little money. It's our, it's our living. So it was just kind of weird that they didn't want to spend anything, but it is what it is. Uh, I did meet quite a few of you who do watch and I appreciated that. It was very surprising to see people in Michigan um, get excited over my videos and my art, especially because I'm mainly based in Florida. I did get a few things. My neighbor, my booth neighbor and hotel roomie gave me some prints, for a print from Stranger by the Shore. The work is awesome. And she also gave me Tokyo Avengers sticker sheet, you know. And then this cute Senku sticker from Dr. Stone. So, that was cool. I didn't get many other gifts, which is fine. 
there were some people who were prepared to look for the ducks, especially because they watch my videos. So they were looking, they were looking out for them, which I thought was fun and keeps the time going. Would I do this con again? I think I would. The drive was a little much, but I was able to visit a friend halfway in North Carolina, and then I got to visit my godson and my best friend in Michigan. So it was definitely worth the trip. I do want sales to be a little better next time. I think that now that the, pe the locals or the people in Michigan kind of got to see me, but I think I would definitely try it again. Um, there are a couple other conventions in Michigan that I would like to try that people were telling me about, so I would definitely try those out. So I'm sure I'll be back. I did appreciate that the con organizer was coming around and like introducing himself to everyone. That was really nice. I got to talk to him, got to know him. He said, you know, if he had any questions, any concerns, please let him know, which I thought was great. There's a lot of conventions where you don't even see the people who are running the show at all, which is not technically bad, I guess, but we don't have a face to put to the show and who to speak to. So that was cool. There's really not much more I can say. I mean, the con was what it was. It was a good show. The venue was really big and I didn't have time to really walk around and see anything. Uh, I could try to look around earlier in the morning and I saw a lot of great artists, a lot of great work, but I didn't really get a chance to look around because how big it was. Yeah, I had a good time, I'll go again. But now that I'm recording this after the fact, I did have another show immediately after, so look out for that video at Anime Town Pensacola. And then after that, my next show is Holiday Cosplay in Tampa Bay. Uh, that will be December 2nd and 3rd. So look forward to that. And I hope you guys continue to watch and talk to you guys later.